Hi guys, so there's this new Eversolo F2 power amplifiers, which cost less than 900 bucks and they're class D. So considering that Eversolo does wonderful streamers, should you consider this amp to match the streamer or just as a standalone unit for your system? I remember when Class D started with first Sonic Impact when I got my hands on it, it was quite amazing because for 20 bucks, what I had was an ultra dynamic amplifier that lacked bass a little bit, was very detailed and open, however the mid-range was far away from the tube amps. Now, about 20 years later, Class D evolved to a way different level. I'm a big fan of Class D and especially this TPA 3255 chip which IMA, Fossi and few other companies use and let me tell you, I've had some amazing experiences with those amplifiers because these are the first chips for the Class D that I've ever heard that had such a magic in the mid-range and openness in it that it can easily replace the tube amplifiers for me. And that's something because solid state, especially Class D, always sucked when it comes to the mid-range. And now it's a completely different game. So I can tell you how it sounds because I already know, but I want you to experience it as well. So I've got this amazing system behind me and I'm using high-end shops microphones and I will record the Eversolo F2 amplifiers and I'll compare it to the Fossi ZA3 with upgraded op-amps. When it comes to the comparison, just put on your headphones and enjoy.
that no one could save A shelter, a whole act A light that died with the night You and I, we got our differences This narrow maze We speak but Oh nothing We run ourselves
Sunday morning meeting time to hear them church bells ring. You ought to seen them late last night go out and shake that thing. They went out and shake that thing. Oh, hold oh, no. on. Hot man. 
So did you manage to hear the differences? And if so, what were they? Because from what I heard in here, the ever solo F2 sounds really rich, really full. And for class D, that's very interesting because yeah, they used to sound very harsh and thin. But when it comes to the sound, I liked the bass and its control because it's very pronounced and big and very well controlled. So that's nice. The detail, is there and overall the soundstage isn't extremely big but it, it's for this price range it's very very nice however when it comes to the mid-range i wasn't blown away let's say it like that it's as good as basically with most amplifiers at this price range so there's nothing lacking in that but i liked the fossey way more for the mid-range it's as I said before, the TPA3255 is amazing when it comes to that. And I've had so many, and I've had so many systems with this chip where this silly priced Chinese amps replaced really, really expensive amplifiers. In a right system, you can really enjoy these amps and they can give you big speed attack punchiness and overall satisfaction sound satisfaction to the level where you would need to spend extreme amount of money on the amp to get to the similar level and when it comes to the mid-range and the engagement i believe the fossey with upgraded op amps to me at least are a better choice and i'm not gonna switch my amps because yeah with this system I'm still using the Fossey ZA3 and I'm looking for better amps. And in the end, I'm also curious how much will I need to spend to have this satisfaction that, okay, this amp is definitely worth spending that much money for 
the sound. And let me tell you, the Fossis ZA3 in here replaced the Nime Supernate 3 which cost like 5000 bucks because I like them more than the Nime Supernate in my system. And that should tell you a ballpark how much are we talking about to make the sound better. Okay, so let me tell you in the comment what did you hear in the sound samples and which one would you choose for your systems? So I'm looking forward for your comment and I'm sure the next video that YouTube is suggesting to you right now will be as awesome for you as this one. So see you in my next video.